I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. Welcome back to Gas and Go with Snow. Over the past few months, I've gotten a lot of questions about how our Revolt uh, kit works. Well, today, I'm going to break that down, give you the short version of what we have going on here. So I'll start with, in an ICE vehicle, ICE stands for internal combustion engine, you have some basic components that all cars share. They all have an engine. They all have a braking system. They all have some sort of fuel delivery system. They all have some kind of charging system. But when you get into the EV community, you have some similar common parts. And so whether you're talking about a 34 Ford, a 1980 Chevy or a 65 Mustang, all of these conversions slash EV vehicles, even the new ones will have shared components. Now, let's start with our Revolt 43 Bravo kit. Now, this motor takes our fuel supply, which is 400 volts DC. 400 volts DC comes into this canister, which is called an inverter. This inverter then takes that 400 volts DC, converts it to high voltage AC. That AC voltage comes out in the form of three phase AC and it turns our motor. Now, our motor is an EV, an electric vehicle motor, so it spins at a much faster rate than a typical V8 or ICE engine. Now, what that does is it allows us to operate over a really broad RPM band, which comes to our next component, eliminates the need for a transmission. A transmission by definition, matches engine speed to road speed. Well, like I said, we have such a wide RPM band with EV and, and, and electric motors that we can do that with one gear. So our friends over at Torque Trends, Mitch has designed a torque box that allows us to step down the RPM to a manageable number, call it 8,000, which would be equivalent of a high rev V8 and allow that to go to the rear end so we don't blow anything up. But now the benefit of stepping that down, twofold. One, we get a manageable RPM number, but number two, it boosts the torque at the yoke for whatever vehicle we attach this torque box to. Now, with that being said, that's a brief example of what the Revolt CR43 Bravo does. Now, another huge benefit of using a Revolt kit is you don't have to cut the car all to pieces to substitute the motor. Now, if you took a 65 Mustang, most of you guys are familiar with the dock, we pulled out the old 302, 289, and put in this Revolt crate motor. Well, a typical EV conversion usually puts the motor in the back, so you have to cut the subframe out or the rear end and put a rear subframe in to make the motor fit. Well, this is almost a direct replacement, just like you would a big block or a 302 to a 350, whatever. So that makes it really easy in order to convert a classic muscle car to EV. So with that being said, this is a breakdown of a Revolt 43 Bravo. So if you guys are looking for an EV conversion, check out Revolt Systems. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on Gas and Go with Snow.